Uh, <laughs> well, hi everyone. Hi everyone joining us online. Hi, it's William the Hello. Cat. Hi. Uh, my name is Matt Sinto. I'm the music director, founder, Cape Cod Chamber Orchestra, and I am so delighted to have Tim and Kiyoshi here today. We've been waiting for this Valentine's Day stream for months. <laughs> months. It's true. Um, I can't think of two better people to be here with today. So uh, thanks guys for, for coming out here. Thanks, um, they have a great program for you today. Um, we are raising money for Steeple Streets Music Raise the Bar Tuition Fund for students that can't uh, afford tuition or need assistance in taking lessons here. So please go to steeplestreetmusic.com. We're asking for a uh, suggested donation of $10 for the live stream today. And yeah, sit back and enjoy the heartfelt tunes. Um, let's welcome uh, Tim and yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, we'll just say a little few things about ourselves. I'm born and raised in New Jersey. Um, I began playing cello when I was nine, and I fell in love with it ever since. What about you? Um, I, so I play the violin. I was born in Chicago. And I came to Boston to study at the New England Conservatory um, and have been here since ever, ever since. And um, why did I start violin? I guess it's kind of fitting on Valentine's Day. I started violin because I had a little bit of a crush on a girl. I wanted to spend a little bit more time with her. She played violin, so I was like, oh, I'm going to play violin. And so that's how it started. I did but, not know uh, that. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So um, funny story. We... Um, uh, last, so this is the second Valentine's Day that Kiyoshi and I are spending together. Second in a row, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, literally a year ago, Tim and I were playing a wedding together on Valentine's Day. And so it just, it was just so fitting when Matt asked us to play this concert to do a duet from the heart mm -hmm. show. So we hope that it reaches all of you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the first piece we're going to play for you is by a, na a man named Ra Reinhold Glier. So i just give you a little background story. He's like 19th century, late, yeah, late 19th century, early 20th century kind of composer. He is most notable for, for one of his pupils being Prokofiev, actually. I found that out when I was researching him. He's not really well known as a composer, but as a teacher. Uh, this piece we're going to play for you is specifically for violin and cello. Um, there are eight movements, but we're only going to play three for you. These be beautiful movements. First movement is the canzonetta. There's a beautiful whirlwind, wavy-like atmosphere that I'll be setting up, and then you'll have this beautiful angel over here just <laughs> gliding over the top. And then in the second movement, we have this rustic rustic um, farm dance, a gavotte. And then in the, in the final movement of Glier's uh, selection that we're gonna play for you is a fursuit, a lullaby, very intimate, warm lullaby that kind of comes from underneath a little bit, from the cello again. I, I have to set up the atmosphere first, and then you have this beautiful violin melody that comes almost out of nowhere. Hope you enjoy Glier's violin and cello duets.
Pharisees. <laughs> okay, well, uh, for those of you who are viewing virtually, um, we ha I just wanted to share we have like a really, really amazing audience here with us, and it's um, some of Matt Sinto's students and their parents, and we're just, we feel so blessed to be able to play for like live people here, because it's been like our first time since the pandemic started and like a year ago, so it's really special, and it's also really special to have so many of you joining virtually. So thank you all for being here. Um, the next piece that we'll be playing for you is called 12 Country Dances by um, a composer named Ignatius Sancho. And Ignatius, Ignatius Sancho was a black composer as well as an abolitionist and writer. And he was actually born on a slave ship and was immediately sold into slavery from birth. And while he was in slavery in England, he captured the attention of the Duke of Montague, who um, gave him books and really gave him an education. And that was how he learned how to compose and to write. And he then later escaped from slavery and became the first black man ever to vote in a British election. And he then became like a very pronounced name in the, um, as an abolitionist. And so this piece, 12 Country Dances, it was written in 1779, uh, originally for harpsichord, but we've uh, made it for uh, cello and violin. And um, these are really short and sweet dances, and um, we're gonna be playing six of them for you. But something that's interesting on the manuscript for each dance is Sancho gives you like specific dance instructions on how to do all of the steps in each of the pieces that he writes. And, um, I, I think they're like really fun 
um, just joyful pieces and um, yeah, the names are really fun too. So I'll, I'll say what they're each called before we play the pieces. All right. Yeah, can I get a quick A too? is Colford Heath Camp. Sheep heart. too excited there. Yeah. <laughs> this is Lord Del Keith's reel. This is like a really like fez <laughs> pheasant, <laughs> peasant and farmy like feel to it.
Thank you. And the last one of the set is called Mungo's Delight. They're funny, right? Yeah. <laughs> So now something for completely, completely different. We're gonna jump forward like 200, <laughs> many, many years. Um, and this is a piece by a composer named Jose Elizondo. And he's a Mexican composer. And he's actually, I believe he's watching, he's here with us today. And he's become actually a really wonderful uh, friend of mine. He's like literally the sweetest guy ever. And um, wow. he discovered us, we, um, me and my roommate, Ungi Cho, were playing um, some of his tunes as part of our string quartet. And I guess one of the silver linings to the pandemic is that he was able to see our performances of his piece, and we became really good friends. But um, this piece that we're about to play for you is called um, Danzas Latino, what is it? Danzas Latino Americanas. And it's based on three different dances from Argentina, um, I believe the next one, Brazil, yeah, Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico. And so in each of the movements, I think you'll hear a little bit of a different feel. So the Argentinian one is kind of your traditional like tango feel, very similar to Piazzolla, if you're familiar with that. Um, the Brazilian one, it's called um, Panda Azucar, and it's named after the famous mountain in Rio de Janeiro in, in Brazil. And then the last, the last movement is called Atar de Ser Tapatio. And it's inspired by Mexican folk dances and you might hear a little bit of a mariachi feel in that. So um, it's a super, super fun piece and we've had such a, such a joy putting it together. And yeah, thank you Jose for writing this and we're so, feel so blessed to play it. So yeah. Thank you. 
second movement, this is uh, the Brazilian dance. Atar de ser tapatio, Mexican dance. So hopefully you'll see some mariachi going on in, in your in your imagination. <laughs> 